And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. All right, working on the Toxic Factory here. And uh, it's time, it's time to get some, some refining going on here. Um, my my uh, frames per second just plummeted when I started this recording. So we're gonna need a refinery vat and I've already got some advanced machine blocks. So I'm gonna make three of these and a refinery controller. Okay, and we're gonna see, we got seven pyros, that's good. Uh, we're gonna need a few uh, hoppers. And because we're going to need a bunch of plastic to start, we're also going to need uh, pipe extrusion plants. So I need, uh, let's see, one, two of these, and then the fuel canister crafters. One, two of these. And we're also going to need a cargo lift. So we need four servos. For that okay so cargo lift it is oh yeah my frame rate just dived holy cow my CPU is only at like 3.8 percent so I don't know what's going on so this we've got it set up we've got the rack rails everything is good to go ready to go and let's send it down and get the output ready to go over here okay so the hmm I'm gonna need a cargo lift on each one of these as well so let's put those down so I know how to lay this out so one, two three Oh, my frame rate. What is going on, game? Like, what is going on? So I also need a setup for the refinery. Uh, and I'm going to put that, like, right over here. And with our height, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to put it right, like, right on the ground here. Because we're limited with how high we can go due to the limit on uh, not busting through the surface. Okay, so if I put... So build your first... Build, build your first vat, then put your controller on it. Uh, why did you, why are you facing weird? Never had that happen before. Oh. That was weird. I wonder if that's a... A result of my uh, misguided crafting. So one, two, three. We are right up to the right up to the ceiling here. One. I think I did that wrong. I'm gonna disconnect this and reconnect it. So it should be three reactor vats. Okay. So we're gonna need to make a bunch of plastic first. So let's just set that up. Uh, so we're gonna do this remove only. 
and this one is going to be add only. So initially we're going to just make plastic, which is fine. So let's move that up. Let's move that up. Um, and now we're going to need to power all of this stuff. So we have power coming off of this thing that we can use. God, the, th the frame rate is nuts. What the heck? It doesn't like me streaming and, and playing at the same time, apparently. Uh, but it was fine before. I don't know what, what, what changed, but man, this is brutal. Okay, so right in there is the next one. Although, now that I think about it, how am I going to get... I need to get fuel over here as well, so I might have to borrow from this one. And I might need to, initially, in order to get some plastic, I might need a few... I'm going to need a couple of these setups. Oh, I don't know how I want to do that yet. Oh, man. What is going on here, game? My poor computer. Okay, this is too tight of a crap. It's so hard to... When you only have a two block space, it's very, very hard to actually, you know, grapple your way in. Okay, I might probably need to make some more pyros, but uh, we'll get this one started. Uh, I want to, I want to make them. While I can, yeah. The, I don't know what happened. Something, something changed. I'll just create a lot of them if I don't use them. Yeah, it's just lagged to heck right now. Okay, so that one's done. I'm going to need a turntable right here. The good thing is I don't need to put, I don't need to dig a, a trench for matter movers and stuff with these. Oh, that's just so slow. If I look over at my, my base, it's just like lagged. Like something over there, a machine is not not thinking right, not working right. Okay, I'll let that run. And I need to put this out. Rotate this, rotate that, break that. It's kind of a process kind of a process to get it out of there without having it stuff in your inventory. Okay, so here I want to... I would like to be able to run a couple different pyros off of this system. So, like, this one I can push in. Uh, and use four. I'm not sure what my power power draw is going to be here. I've always ever only ever used turbines really to to power these up. So we're gonna load those in there. Load those in there. So that should be connected to the controller. Yeah, see, it has 9,000 power uh, capabilities, which kind of tells me, yes, indeed, uh, we're, we're going to need we're going to need some serious amounts of power. So the first thing is getting the biomass in there post haste.
and let's get underneath this. Zig it and zag it over. And this should give me an idea if we're, po if we're net positive or net negative. Looks like we're net negative on power. So we're gonna need another, we're gonna need another power setup. Oh, the lag. Oh, the lag is real. So I put another one of these up here. You know, I probably have a little bit, a little bit of that coal on me, or maybe not. Thought I did. No, I guess I don't. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna come out. And come out. There we go. We should be able to grapple up here. If my leg wasn't uh, kicking me around. Alright, so here we go. Oh, the lag is so tremendous. Okay. So this is probably out of power. Yep. This, this hopper is remove only. This hopper is add only. We are good to go. How much plastic do we have? We have 23 whole plastic. 25 whole plastic. So, so far so good. And the second one on there, it looks like we actually have a net gain of power now, which is good. Uh, having, having that second set up there is a net gain of power. So with the, with the power coming in over here as well, uh, we need some, we need rack rails. Uh, and in as much as we have a need for more hoppers. Cracking. Cracking. Okay. Oh, the lag is unbelievable. What causes that? You don't, you don't, I don't really experience it that often in this game, but man, when I do, it's brutal. It's kind of jarring. Okay, so get some rack rails started. These don't actually have to go as deep. Uh, what? No power. Say what? Well, it would help if that was actually pointed the right way. So that would help. Sorry about that, Mr. Uh, cargo lift. You can uh, continue with the rack rails. Okay, yeah, this is. So if I look at this way, it's still it's still pretty light. You can see that red bar on the top. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's has to do with frames per second. Really? Oh, there's a Falcor. Yeah, I need some more. Need some more beacons over here so I can collect all these bug parts that are down here. Because they, depending on how many how many slimes you get, they add up fast. Oops. Okay, let's let's go put our bug parts away. Try to try to work through this lag here. Jeez. Okay, that should drop off my ruin stuff. Now the pristine stuff can get dropped in and filtered out. Beautiful how that works. Okay, so. Clear all these up. Two hundred, 
distance. This one's still going. It didn't have it didn't have full power, so it's gonna it's gonna take a little longer to get there. So I'm gonna put some more rack rails in you. It should go down to the cold caves and then stop. So you know, two hundred and there it is, two twenty nine. So this one, finally this one's getting charged up, that's good. There we go. The full charge, you should be able to punch through the rest of those pretty fast. There it is. Okay, uh, and these, yeah, we have net gain on, on power, so we should be making these about as fast as it can possibly make them uh, with three vats hooked up to it. Um, you know, some people have experimented with many, many, many vats. I try to limit myself to four, uh, but I don't, uh, I'm not sure if you can go down with them. I'll have to try that. Oh, you can't go to the side. They won't connect if you go to the sides. Uh, but it might connect if I go down. If I go up anymore, I'm at risk of poking through the top of the world. And this cargo lift... Wow. Really dropped off all 600. And now going down to pick some more up. That's impressive. How many how many uh, biomass we've already gone through so I've dug out the matter mover system already I need to go check on cutter heads again how many we have we have enough for at least one turbine but this leg, I might have to restart the game or something to get rid of this leg. Um, I came over here for something. And what was it? Oh yeah, cutter heads. I knew I was gonna, I knew I would remember. There's a matter of time. Okay, we have 25 plasma heads in reserve. Plus, you know, another 10 or so. But I'm trying to figure out how we can deliver power down to the toxic caves. Down to the cold caves, once we have fuel, you know, I was thinking about those cargo lifts down there. Once we have fuel, I can set these up, uh, like this one can can deliver the fuel um, down to the cold caves, which I then can use on the cargo lifts to then deliver the fuel even deeper. So it's just, the system sort of propagates and expands once you get the power where you need it. Uh, the other thing that we have uh, that we're going to need are the... Hmm, do I have the hoppers for that? I do. So I'm going to need a little bit of the fuel canisters. So we have two pipe extrusion plants. And then right after those, the fuel canister crafters. And I leave I, I separate them out. Don't, you don't have to, but... Tells me that there are two machines there. And we're going to connect these up. None of these need power. But these need iron pipe. So just throw some iron into this and out comes fuel canisters. So it first makes it into iron pipe. Then it makes it into fuel canisters. And there you go. 
slowly working this up. Beautiful. All right, let's make two. You can see how, you see that thing how, like. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I mean, something, something's wrong with my game right now. I'm taxing it too hard or something. Uh, all right, so we want eight servo motors. Crafting. And we want two more cargo lifts. Crafting. And I should have, I did start crafting more iron plates. Because I knew I would need a lot more canister or a lot more things over there. Uh, all right, and we have one cargo lift for each one of these setups. So, you get a cargo lift, and you get a cargo lift. So this is the first step in, actually, we need to change you. Top is load all. We need to switch. So top is load all, bottom is unload all. This one, bottom is load all, because this is the return of the empty canisters, which we need to use over here uh, eventually. So this should, this it says it's unload all, but it should, I'm gonna take that out and put you back in again. I don't know why the order is unload itty. It shouldn't be. Top should be load all, bottom should be unload all. But we'll let, we'll let it run, see if it, see if it's bad. Oh, my frame rate is recovered. Yeah, I don't know. Something, something with the game was, it was thinking. I don't know if it was saving behind the scenes or what, but it was doing something. And how are we doing on plastic? I think we're doing good. Just about filled up that hopper up there. I like, I like having a good supply of plastic before I start turbines, just to make sure that we've got plenty to use. All right, well, our threat level is manageable, especially when we have, you guessed it, super awesome turrets up here. And there's nothing up here to kill to actually show those off. Oh, yeah, there is. So they're under the ground, and they're now they're upgraded to the Mark III's. So we've got Mark III turrets, there we go. Look at that, beautiful. Let's make sure the beacons are capturing everything. And of course, it's nighttime, so we really, we missed out on a whole bunch of organics. I really, I really hate that, but. But that'll have to do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.